Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tina. I'm a full-time reseller and today I am bringing you a what sold video for the first time in I think like three weeks. Uh, so these are my sales from Friday afternoon until Monday morning and I had a fantastic sale this morning that just topped the weekend off. So stay tuned so you can see what that was. But uh, yeah, it's just been crazy around here. We're actually getting more snow as as we speak. I'm still like bundled up in my jacket. I just got back to the office and I'm still cold. It's it's just the weather's atrocious out there again. It's been never ending for like the past month. So anyway, let's get into what sold. Alrighty. So the first item that sold is this pair of Chico's um, Josie pants. These sold for $29.99 with free shipping. Next, I sold this set of eight Williams Sonoma Berry Collection plates. These actually sold for $25. The buyer messaged me and asked me if I would take $25, so I sent her an offer. So these sold for $25 plus shipping. These were in a video a couple months ago in, in a haul video. They came from a Goodwill. All right, next is a Little House Needleworks um, cross stitch chart. This sold for $9.99 plus shipping. And then I sold a cross stitch kit. This sold for $9.99 with free shipping. This is a very a small, small, tiny chart. Thank you for not smoking. It's like a vintage kind of pattern. Uh, then I sold, well, let's see. I had started with a quantity of seven of these. I sold two previously, and then the last buyer just bought the final five for a total of $84.95 with free shipping. Alrighty, and then I sold this John Mayer, John Mayer collection, uh, two piece, it's like a, a jacket and a dress. Very nice, I've actually sold this John Mayer, Mayer, whatever it is, brand before, uh, and it always seems to bring a pretty decent price even though it does sit for a little while. Uh, although I don't think this one sat as long as the last piece. So this is really nice though. That's the label. Um, the dress or the jacket had this really nice animal print lining and the dress had this nice like chain link detail around the neck. Just a really, really nice piece. So yeah, $79.99 plus shipping on that one. Then I sold this genealogy book. It's a guide to research in Baltimore City. This came out of a church sale at the end of the at the end of the fall season this year. I'm not sure if that made it to video or not. I can't recall, but that sold for twelve dollars plus shipping. Then I sold this West Virginia Mountaineers wine glass. There is a wine glass in there. This this photo kind of showcases it better. It's one of those double walled, I guess you would call it. Uh, this sold for $11.99 plus shipping. That did sit for a while. All right, then I sold this J. Crew Live a Little shirt. This sold for $16.99 plus shipping. This was in a recent haul video. Next, I sold three sets of these to the same buyer. Um, so it ended up being close to $90 plus just, I mean, just like three cents under $90 plus shipping. Uh, they bought all three of them and it's just a five piece place setting um, in the Fortessa Scalini pattern. And then I sold this, I actually recently listed this, this um, Briard or Briard, never know how to say that. I have to figure that out one day. Um, Glass and this sold for $15 plus shipping. I sold these uh, three wrestling action figures. These sold for $18.50 with free shipping. Next, oh, is it showing up like that? Uh, next is another cross stitch kit. This is a Dimensions No Count cross stitch, so it's printed on the fabric. This sold for $19.99 with free shipping. And then I sold this. Spanx um, like tank top and this sold for $25 with free shipping. This was a recent purchase. It came out of that big church clothing sale that I I think it was maybe like three video three videos ago. 
All right, then I sold five Fiesta dessert bowls. Uh, they had a couple tiny nicks on them, but these sold for $35 plus shipping. Next, I sold a pair of Agnes and Dora pants in leopard print. These sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And then this vintage dress, this sold, I actually took a best offer of $75 plus shipping. Um, for some reason, the best offer never shows up on here, but this is a really unique dress. It's got like all this sheer lace detail, like on the side and the arms. And then this is like a nude section. So if the person has like the same kind of skin tone, I think it would look really, really good. I don't know, just kind of a, a neat piece. Um, There you go. You can see it a little bit better. It's got the lining down to like there, and then it's just the sheer lace. Let's see if we have the tag here. There it is. Travilla. Doesn't have a size, so I just had to rely on measurements. Alrighty, next I sold two international interlude serving spoons. These sold for $12.99 plus shipping. And then I sold these shoes for $17.95 plus shipping. Not even going to attempt the name on that, but I will tell you these I have had forever, but they finally sold. All right, next I just sold this um, Sentec scan tool. This came out of that storage locker. This sold for $45 plus shipping. I've also sold several items from that locker this week uh, locally on Facebook Marketplace. I should have included that in this video, but I didn't think of it till just now. <laughs> but okay. So then I sold this pair of Converse sneakers. These sold for 16 plus shipping. These were recently given to me by someone I know. She gave me a whole bag of shoes, uh, totally free. So that was pretty cool. All right. Then I sold these Merrells. These sold for $19.99 plus shipping. These also came out of that church sale. Next, I sold a rubber stamp for $12.99 with free shipping. Another PSX stamp. And another cross-stitch chart. This sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Cross-stitch was hot again this weekend. All right, then another larger sale. I sold this Bissell vacuum cleaner. This came out of that auction um, a couple months ago where I got all of the Waterford and Lennox ornaments. So this sold for $150 plus shipping. Next, I sold this Harley Davidson trivia game and this sold for $25 plus shipping. And then this pair of Talbot sandals, these went to a viewer. So thank you very much, Deb. These sold for $15.50 plus shipping. And the final item is this fantastic Italian inlaid lacquered gaming table. This thing is a gem. I This never made it to video, but I picked this up at the end of the season from a garage sale. As soon as I saw it, I knew I had to have it. It was just fantastic. The pictures really don't even do it justice. So this thing opens up. There's a roulette table. Uh, this is this is when it's completely closed up. That is what it looks like. It's one of the chairs. It's got this, like I said, inlaid design. Then you flip that over and you have this. This is for, oh, what is that for? I forget the name of the game that's for, but anyway, then that layer comes off. You have checkers or chess, and then you just have this felt area so it can be for, you know, cards or whatever. And again, open it up. You have the, the roulette, you have um, instructions. There's like all the gaming pieces. This thing is just, just fabulous. So I took an offer of $1,350 on this and the buyer is going to be using U-Ship to have it transported to them because it's 
it's big. It's a table with four chairs, so it, it it's not going to ship in the you know, traditional manner of FedEx or UPS or anything like that. So yeah, that was the sale of all sales for the weekend. So there you have it. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. And until next time, bye.